Hey everyone, how's it going? GamerGeek here, and today we're doing another developer vlog update for my mobile game. We'll be talking about the most recent ass pain I experienced while developing the game, what I'm currently working on, and as always, what to expect in the videos to come. So with that out of the way, let's jump into today's video. Starting off, I wanted to say I ran into a major problem right after I incorporated my dummy UI mechanics. The plan was to add a title menu and a level select menu to the development version of my game, where the player would obviously browse completed levels and carry on with the story. I created a blank map to hold all the menus, making it the default map for the game's startup, and thoroughly tested it on my PC without issue. For once, everything was going exactly as planned, and I was just about to switch gears to working more on animation, but I decided to import all the progress I had made on the game to my phone first. I obviously need to test my mobile game on mobile devices, but I also enjoy taking my game with me, because this is my first major project that I'm actually trying to develop for sale. It's a big deal to me. So whenever I make decent progress with development, I port the game to my phone to make sure it all looks good, and I play with it every once in a while just for fun. Unfortunately, it wasn't so much fun with this latest update, because the game didn't work. How the menus work is, in the blank map, a widget appears on the startup for the title menu. The player can exit the game, go to a currently non-existent extras menu, or go to the level select menu. If they choose the level select, it opens a separate widget for the player to choose which chapter of the story and which level of that chapter they want to play. The menus were working perfectly until I tried to choose a level. The game would just kick me back to the main menu instead of opening the selected level. I verified the game's file integrity, reported the game to my phone numerous times, retested everything time and time again to try and fix it, but failed every time. It was infuriating because there was no reason the game shouldn't work that I could see. It just wasn't working. Until I finally figured out the problem. So when porting the game to my phone, the default packaging settings for Unreal Engine 4 package the game on the map you currently have open, in my case, the blank menu map. The problem was it only packages the map you currently have open, rather than the whole game itself. I had to specify to the engine to port the whole game project to my phone in the project settings, which I only figured out by mindlessly staring at every option in the package settings until I saw that specific option. You might be wondering why it was so hard to figure out the problem, which is a fair question considering the fix was just changing some project settings. The reason it was so hard to fix was because there was no documentation of any kind on this problem that I could find. When you test package projects on PC, you don't have this issue because all your files are readily available on your computer. Not the case with phones though, which made this a major pain in my ass for days until I finally solved the problem. So a word of warning for anyone watching that wants to develop a mobile game, be sure to browse through the package settings to make sure you don't run into any problems like I did. Aside from the packaging nightmare I went through, I've actually made some good progress with development. If you recall in my previous developer vlog, I mentioned struggling to get the teleport mechanic to work correctly. For those who don't remember, I initially had the control set so that the player holds down the teleport button while aiming it, then they release the button to activate the teleport. Unfortunately, it was a major struggle because the teleport button didn't work when trying to hold it down like intended. So I ended up splitting the control into two buttons, one to aim and one to teleport, which worked okay but was far from perfect. The problem was sometimes the game glitched and the buttons wouldn't swap out, leaving the player stuck aiming the teleport without actually being able to go anywhere. So after a ton of work, plus some trial and error, I actually got the button to function as originally intended. Working with touch controls is tough, because there isn't a whole lot of documentation out there for it like most other Unreal Engine topics. Mobile game devs are pretty much left in the dark here, unfortunately, and a lot of this information just has to come from experience. Nothing is impossible though, so I've been persevering and I'm glad to say that the development process hasn't knocked me down just yet. Moving on though, I also wanted to talk about a design choice I made to gauge how you guys feel about it. As we discussed already in a previous video, the story of the game has the player stealthily assassinating targets in each level. So I thought the perfect stage select icon would be a wanted poster, which would feature the face of each in-game target. I personally thought it was a fun way of representing each level instead of having some boring screenshot of the individual maps or something like some games have. Once a level has been completed, the game will gray out the corresponding wanted poster and have a red stamped message over it that reads executed or completed. I haven't decided which yet. Definitely head down to the comment section though and let me know what you guys think of that design. I really want your feedback on this. Do you like the wanted poster idea and is it a good fit for this game or do you not think it's necessarily interesting? Let me know and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So right now, aside from all the UI and packaging stuff, it's just about modeling and animation which is both the home stretch and also an ass load of work. I have to model the player character, all the enemy characters, the buildings you run on, and the streets below, the obscured background to give a sense of environment beyond the playable level, etc, etc. Then there's the animation for both the player and the enemies. It's going to be a ton of work getting it all done, but I'm looking forward to it all the same. Every time I make a developer vlog and tell you about the progress I've made, the struggles I've recently had, what I'm working on, or what I'm about to work on, it just means we're another step closer to releasing this thing. It's exciting to think about and I appreciate everyone who's watching and been here with me along the way. 
So, what should you expect to see in future videos? Well, obviously modeling and animation videos since that's the bulk of what's left to do, but also some tutorial videos as well. Like I mentioned a ton in this video, good documentation is hard to come by for mobile development, if you can come by any at all. So as I work, I wanted to discuss the things that tripped me up during development and explain how I fixed the problem. That way, someone struggling doesn't end up like me and pull their hair out for days at a time until they figure it out for themselves. I also want to expand my horizons on this channel and branch out, doing different types of videos so you guys have some variety and don't get worn out by developer vlogs every time. I experimented with the Smite gameplay video last week and I had a lot of fun recording it, so I want to try and do more like it. Be ready because I have a lot I want to record and do, so hopefully it all works out and you guys are excited for what's to come. Well that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to hit the like button and comment down below. We're so close to a thousand subs on the channel too, so if you haven't already, you gotta hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out. Stay tuned for all the new types of videos coming soon and I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the future of the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.